welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be filming the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer review I'm gonna be letting you guys know whether it is worth the hype I got these concealers in color c13 c11 and c15 I am an NC 45 and NC 50 in Mac studio fix concealers so if you guys have that then maybe that will give you like an idea of what color I am. I use the C15 to contour, I use the C13 as my actual concealer shade and I'm using the C11 to highlight. If you guys want to see how I feel about this product and my opinions about these um, concealers then carry on watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below guys and yeah let's get straight onto this. So I got my hands on three colours, I got them in C15, C13 and C11. I actually did this purchase about three times because I was so unsure of like what colour I would be and then when I did swatch, because I think the first colour I got was C15 and then I realised that that was very very dark and um, like orangey sort of toned and then um, I went back into store and then like swatched all the other colours and then I thought I was C13 but they didn't have C13 when I swatched it so I thought I would have been C13 because that was the only colour missing and then I went back again and um, I just got C11 because I thought if I get every shade that's in between then it would be alright. I'm going to swatch the colours on my forearm because that's like the lightest place of my arm so you guys can see what it looks like on my skin. So this is C15, I'm going to pop it there. So it's a very deep, deep tone and it dries like so quickly as well, like it's ridiculous. Then I bought C13 which is this one so this one I would say is my shade but then when it dries it dries a bit reddish so I thought I'd get another colour to counteract that sort of um, tone and then this is C11 oh that was a wonky one as you can see I would say this one is my contour shade this one is like, um, let's say, my like concealer sort of shade, like if I wanted to, you know, take away any imperfections that I have on my skin. And then this one is the highlight shade, but I think I might mix um, C13 and C11 together because it does come up ashy. Um, well, C11 does come up ashy, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, they retail for £4 each, which is a bargain because my favourite concealer of all time is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love it, love it, love it. But then I bought three shades for £12, which is amazing. It still doesn't equate to the price of the NARS Radiant Creamy. And apparently this is a good dupe for the um, Tarte Shape Tape. I don't have the Tarte Shape Tape because I am not going to spend 30 something pounds for a concealer because that's how much it costs when you add all the shipping for it to come to the UK. So I am not going to spend that much money on a concealer. I am really pleased that they're four pounds and if they are exactly what everyone's saying then I'm never really going to buy the Tarte Shape Tape. But we shall see. Now they have 18 shades, which is amazing. It's a lightweight yet full coverage concealer to cover blemishes, even skin tone, and counteract dark circles. That's probably why some of them are more reddish tones because um, reddish tones like take away like any like blemishes maybe. It has a matte finish that won't setting or accentuate fine lines and pores. Long wearing intense pigment that you can that can be used to contour and add definition. Our large doe foot applicator allows for a smooth application that won't drag. On, on delicate skin under your eyes so that is the claims of the concealer and I'm just reading that off Superdrug to be fair and yeah I bought mine from Superdrug I don't know if I've already said so yeah I just ordered it online I know there is another website that people have been saying that you can get it from but with Superdrug I get my points as well and like it comes in like the next day if you pay for like £1.50 next day delivery click and collect so I was like what's the point of me going to another brand when I can just get my points from Superdrug. But anyway, I'm going to be using C15 to contour and then C13 and C11 to um, highlight under my eyes. I'm just going to put my foundation on and I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in um, 10, the colour I got. 
um, and this foundation, I've loved it since because I got it for Christmas because I really, really wanted it. But yeah, I'm just going to pop my foundation on mm. off camera and then show you guys how I use the concealers to highlight and contour. So the foundation's a bit dark right now, but I think it will be perfect for my summer foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with C11. I'm going to put that under my eyes. It does say that you should blend it out with a brush, but... I think I'm going to blend it out with my beauty sponge from Real Techniques and I'm just going to pop it where I normally would. And then I'm going to use C. 13 for like just under my jawline and then I'm going to use C15 for contour Now I'm going to blend it out and because I have sensitive skin I'm quite scared of using like new makeup products especially like drugstore because they put a lot of like perfume and stuff but this doesn't really have any like perfume so it hasn't like it's not stinging my face so hopefully everything goes well. Right, I think me leaving it on for that long has made it difficult to blend. I'm going to use the other side to blend out my contour. Oh, my... So you guys know how much I love my NYX Mineral Stick Foundation to contour, but I think this is going to be my new fave. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. This is ridiculous. That's amazing. Wow. They weren't playing. I'm just going to use that under my contour. Yeah, that is... When I do my no foundation looks, that is going to be perfect. Yeah, this is... This is good. It's already dry, which is really pissing me off. Um, so I will never highlight and contour like this again. But I, I hope. I'm guessing if I didn't leave it for this long, it will. It would have been perfect. I feel like I don't even need to set my under eyes, but it's just going to be a habit of mine. I'm going to do my nose on camera, and then I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera because it's starting to dry really quick. So. I don't want to look like a mess. But you can see that patch there because it's dried. Right, I'm just going to do the rest of my face off camera because this is going to dry like crazy. Be right back. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like before I've set it with my RCMO powder. Oh god, don't look up my nose. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's like, it's proper, like, it feels, it feels like a real, um, like high-end, high-end, um, what's it called, high-end concealer, and like, it dries fast, like, I've never had a concealer that dries this fast, even my Kat Von D Lock It concealer doesn't dry this fast, I don't even need to set it though. 
and the contour is very very natural <sighs> scary wow I can't believe drugstore has done something like this like, I'm really I'm really really impressed because I thought it was going to be all a hype you know how youtubers are and like you know they're like oh this thing's amazing like go out and get it blah 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 but this this is serious this is some serious stuff right I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my face and see how it works with my other products right so I finished the rest of my makeup and it actually didn't make any like you know when sometimes your makeup can split if it doesn't work well together um, and that didn't happen here I really like this concealer honestly like I can't believe that it's four pounds and I just it just kind of Oh, it's just about, it just kind of brings like a wake up call to the higher end brands that really and truly you should be doing more shades and not so extortionate but I really really like it I'm really impressed very very impressed I do have like makeup revolution um, palettes before but like the old school ones like my palette is like five years old I think my mum has it now but yeah I have some makeup revolution products but I just kind of didn't I just haven't really used them to be fair but yeah and the only thing I would say is that it dries so quickly like I'm the type of person that I like to take my time when I'm doing my makeup and things but it literally dries like in a second like, I've got a patch here and like a patch here I believe where um I kind of like had to redo it sort of thing but otherwise um, I'm really impressed so the bloggers and the influencers aren't lying it is something to rave about the only thing I would say is that it, they all have like this reddish kind of pinky tone and if you don't have like a yellow banana powder or something to counteract that then you'll be looking like a tomato for a little bit but otherwise I think it's okay for four pounds like honestly that is ridiculous. Anyway, that is the end of my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the product, if you have it. And let me know what you think about my hair as well, because I decided to go back to weave because I just hated seeing my hair every day wearing a wig. But, um, yeah, I decided to go back to weave. So let me know what you think in the comments down below as well about my hair. Obviously, Lola and more hair does my hair all the time. Duh. Um, but, yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.